Leon Frierson, Schneider's preference for binds was obvious on set. We had to go to school on set. There would be times when Amanda would just be missing, he recalled in the docuseries. A lot of times we would hear she would be with Dan, pitching ideas and writing. We see them grow closer to each other on set. Her own show. After her success on All That, Bynes and Schneider continued to collaborate on The Amanda Show. Culture writer Scotchy Cole weighed in on Bynes and Schneider's close connection, saying, Dan Schneider was very responsible for Amanda Bynes' career and they were very tied to each other and I think she trusted him. Virgil L. Fabian, meanwhile, only had positive memories watching Bynes and Schneider work together. I remember Dan and Amanda Bynes being very close on The Amanda Show, he shared. I think very few people made Dan laugh and she did. During rehearsal she would do and say funny things. In a separate interview, all that editor Karen Finley Thompson reflected on the more potentially questionable interactions between Bynes and Schneider. I definitely saw Amanda being very close physically with Dan, Thompson said in a confessional. There were many times I saw Amanda sitting behind him hugging him, or giving him a neck massage. Dan and Amanda had a close relationship. I didn't think anything different than that. Thompson called a sketch from The Amanda Show, in which Schneider and Vines were both sitting in a hot tub, a little odd. 